the year 2000, the mixed martial arts and grappling worlds were still very closely joined. It had only been seven years since the debut of the UFC and the showcase of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But in Abu Dhabi, a new event that showcased the top grapplers and MMA fighters together was created. And that year would be when one of the greatest open mate matches in ADCC history would be held, with Leo Vieira against Mark Kerr. At the time, Mark Kerr was not only undefeated in MMA, but he was also undefeated against Brazilians in ADCC, having won his division and the Open the prior year. In his first round matchup in 2000 in the Openweight division, the Smashing Machine weighing in at 135 kilos was set to face off against one of Brazil's up and coming stars, Leo Vieira. Leo, weighing in at only 75 kilos, never expected to be facing Kerr in the opening match of the Openweight bracket. But, much like the tale of old, with David vs Goliath, Leo was unafraid and faithful that he could overcome. The match not only piqued interest from a technical and analytical sense, but it was also one that created a unity amongst the Brazilian competitors. In this ADCC match, it wasn't Alliance vs Gracie Baja, it wasn't Novo and Yao against GF Team, it was Brazil vs America and Jiu Jitsu vs Wrestling. The match went down for an entire 10 minute duration, and to the surprise of many, Mark Kerr was unable to take Leo down effectively and control him to score points. Leo, who had never really trained Nogi prior to this event, used his two weeks of casual wrestling practice and all of the jiu-jitsu instincts to battle every takedown of Kerr. Initially when the match began, Leo thought he would pull guard immediately and use his guard to attack Kerr, but after feeling Kerr's strength and power, he realized that his best chance of winning would be to keep the match on his feet as much as possible. And he did just that. Every time Kerr shot, Leo sprawled lightning quick and at some points would even leap out of Kerr's grips. Leo also began to jokingly make faces and push and shove Kerr, which appeared to irritate him and make him attack more frequently, but he could just not keep Leo down. After the 10 minutes were completed and no points scored, it was supposed to go to overtime. However, the judges issued a penalty to Leo as they felt he pulled guard in one of the scrambles, which is one of the unique rules at ADCC. Although Kerr won the match, the rumor is that he was so completely exhausted that he was throwing up backstage and asked to withdraw from the bracket. Leo was notified that he could potentially come back into the bracket and fight, but at the final second Kerr returned and went on to win the openweight division. Although Leo did not medal in either his division or the open that year, the experience he gained was so important that it helped refocus his nogi training, which would eventually lead him to becoming a two-time ADCC gold and silver medalist and one of the sport's most iconic competitors and coaches for years to come.